Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Vixie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a flip through of my B6 Stology for the month of November. Um, I will have all shop links and timestamps listed in the description. So I always start out the month with a little mini calendar and a splash page. The splash page I found, I want to say on Canva, no not Canva, um, I'm pretty sure I found this on Pinterest actually and I, I think I might have searched something about fairies, fairy forest or something to that effect anyway. Um, the little mini calendar I did make myself in Canva and I did search fairies I think, or woodland creatures or something like that. Washi tape is simply gilded. This is my what I'm watching, playing and reading list and my monthly task sheet. These I created myself in Canva and I actually did pretty well this month. I'm really actually very proud of myself. I got a lot done, which is really cool. This is my event calendar and this just depicts all the events and appointments and things that are going on through the month. This, whoops, this one is my Instagram calendar, or tracker actually, and I wanted to hit 700 followers for November. Didn't quite get there, but that's okay. Um, I didn't really, you can see that I didn't really post at all through November and I'm pretty sure December hasn't been that much better to be honest. This is my YouTube tracker. I had a subscriber count or goal, sorry, of 950 and I hit 836. So that's not so bad. But again, I mean, I didn't really post at all just because I was really busy. And again, I haven't done much better in December. All right, then we move into the first week. Um, I actually tried something new this week. Um, I wanted to change out my daily layouts. If you're familiar with any of my daily layouts, you're going to see that this is pretty different. Um, and I'm not really, it, I, I didn't, I liked it, but I didn't. It really wasn't working for me too well. And I think I was just sort of struggling because basically what I wanted to do was have like my lists, but then I wanted to have some like deco and make it look pretty and everything. And I don't think I really achieved that here. Um, this one I forgot, well not forgot, but I actually got sidetracked and I didn't get around to putting in the deco and I just thought, oh, that's all right, I'll just come back and do it later. Yeah, biggest lie, I always tell myself that and I'll remember it. It just never works out. And then I didn't come back and fill it in because I had put it out of my mind. Same thing here. Um, again, I really just, I, I didn't do it at the time that I was filling this out. I, I don't even know why actually, because it was so long ago now, I really have no clue. But yeah, I just didn't bother coming back to fill it in. Um, I just have uh, a couple of pages that are clipped together at the moment because they are journaling pages. But this is the second week. And again, I just made my weekly overview in Canva and I didn't want to do like my normal, like, let me see if I can show you. If you're new here, I normally have my weekly overviews look like this and I kind of wanted to try something different. I just wanted to have like a plain page where I could put like my important dates at the top and then my tasks and you know things I wanted to get done for the week down below. I didn't really like it actually and I found that I did miss this a lot so I did bring that back for December. I like this spread a lot better which is basically what I did in the front of the month like right in the very beginning of the month. It's basically the same spread but this works better and I think it's because I maybe figured out color schemes or I don't know it just looks better than this here. This just looks better. So I kind of feel like I found my groove here. This is the same kit that I was using from last week, which I, which I totally forgot to tell you, but that was a, a kit from my shop. I can't actually remember if I still have it in my shop or not, because there, there are a few that I'm pulling. Um, and I can't remember if that's one of them. I have to go back and take a look. This washi is from AliExpress. This washi, this little flowery balloon washi is part of the kit. And then this top washi here is Simply Gilded. This uh, F Today sticker is from my shop. Um, this little Instagram sticker and the little special delivery sticker are from Layla's Loft. I have a code actually, Vixie15, if you're interested. She's got tons of really cute little kawaii stickers. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Uh, these little chore stickers are from Plan So Cute. These are printables that you can print out yourself and I absolutely love them. This was from a spooky kit that I had done. I think I might've pulled this one too. I can't remember. This little heart washi is from Simply Gilded. This, um, Weather sticker is one of mine, but I currently don't have it in the shop. I'm trying to de decide whether or not I'm going to put them in the shop. Still using a leftover kit, actually just bits and pieces from leftover kits that I have now because I don't want to go and start a brand new kit because it's basically the end of this week. This is Simply Gilded Washi here. This gold washi here is from Kmart, actually. Really, really like this and it sticks down really, really well. We move into the next week now, uh, and this is a kit from Layla's Loft. I'll have her shop linked in the description. Absolutely love this Chrissy kit. It's so cute. And this is her washi. Let me just see if I can fold that up. This is her washi here as well. This is the 30 mil or th sorry, three centimeter washi. And this is her 15 mil or one and a half centimeter washi. And they coordinate. They just look amazing. I love them. Still using her kit as we're going through. Had to bring in some gold washi though just to sort of break it up a little bit. This washi here, I think is from AliExpress, if I can remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that is. All of these little dividers and everything are from Layla's Loft, so cute. This little grocery sticker is from 
Plants So Cute, I think. I'm pretty sure that's from Plants So Cute, actually. Again, I just have a couple of pages um, together because those are journaling pages. Makes me think that I really need to get into doing some journaling. Like, So this weekly overview I made myself in Canva. Pretty much everything everything on this page is Layla's Loft, except for the washi, actually, which is Kmart. And then my weather sticker, which I did myself. I absolutely love this little cat in the litter box. I was actually asking her if she had any and she said no and I asked her to draw me some, so she did. And she made a little ginger cat because I have a ginger cat. But I think she's got other cat colors coming, actually. I'm using up the remainder of this uh, Christmas kit. I actually forgot to put in washi, so that's kind of why it looks pretty bare. Some more journaling right here. Completely skipped two pages, didn't even realize it actually, and which was weird because I normally only skip pages when I'm filming and not paying attention, but I wasn't filming. So uh, yeah, I've skipped pages, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. And this kit, I absolutely freaking love. This is a kit from I Love to Print, and her stickers are just stunning they're just stunning and i i just absolutely love how this came out so highly highly recommend her shop if you print your own stickers just stunning and that is it for my november flip so i really hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you thought in the comments and i'll catch you in the next one bye everybody